The true fuse technique can be performed minimally invasively or entirely percutaneously. Immediate stabilization with minimal tissue disruption makes true fuse an ideal tool to manage back pain without precluding other options. The true fuse technique is performed prone on a standard operating room table. Oblique x-ray views of the spine will optimize visualization of the facet joint. A Steinman pin is advanced bilaterally under fluoroscopic guidance into the facet joint and a small stab wound facilitates insertion of the remaining instruments. The pin serves as a guide to place beveled spatulas into the facet joints bilaterally. Gently turning engages the blade into the plane of the facet. Light tapping will seat the spatula properly. With the spatulas in place, the drill guide is easily inserted and aligned by matching score marks on the spatula and the guide. Tapping the drill guide into place widens the joint and maintains alignment. The spatula and pin are no longer needed with the drill guide in place. A compaction reamer will create a tunnel of subchondral bone. Pulse drilling prevents overheating. Advancing the reamer to the positive stop ensures proper depth. A sized block is used to ensure that the Morse tapered graft is oriented properly. The impactor will pick the graft, place it, and countersink it properly at two millimeters. It's important to hold the drill guide steady and in the same orientation for both reaming and graft insertion to get a solid press fit. With the true fuse dowels inserted in proper position, stability is restored and a platform for healing has been created. Postoperatively, most patients can be discharged home within 24 hours of the procedure. Bracing with the Bauerfind Softtech Lumbo is strongly recommended for a period of at least six weeks to limit motion during the early stages of healing.